Hello ladies, happy Wednesday. Usually I'm going to be saying like, it's Wednesday my dudes, but I'm not sure if you guys know what that means. But um, if you happen to like look it up on YouTube, if you've heard of the meme, it's Wednesday my dudes with like the crazy frogs. No, not crazy frog, <laughs> like the 90s reference, but like there's this weird dude and he goes, it is Wednesday my dudes. And he goes, ah, he's got like goggles on or something. It's so weird. And then I guess somebody else took it and ran with it and made like this meme of like this two-legged crazy looking like frog. I don't know, but they've just done all kinds of things with it and it's just the funniest, dumbest thing and it just makes me laugh every time I see it. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> so YouTube always like in my algorithm just sends me the randomest, dumbest stuff and I watch it. I watch it and then they send me more and eventually I watch it because... I don't know. I'm bored, maybe? I don't know, guys. I can't. I can't even excuse myself. But anyway, that's why we're here today saying it is Wednesday, my dudes. So, it's Wednesday, and I hope your Wednesday is not too wacky, but instead it's wonderful, it's bright, it's like a 94 degree day. It is like prime summer still. We're like the end of July, almost August, and it's like, I don't know if it's the hottest time of the year. I mean, the hottest day of the year. I don't know if we're there yet, but it's up there. It is hot, hot, hot. Like, there's a song by this band yesterday. Like, if you guys have seen My Favorite Martian, anyway, it's that song. It's hot, hot, hot. And I was listening to it yesterday, <laughs> but it's hot, guys. It's hot. So today, I've got a, a note in front of me because we're going to do a haul video for the Wet n Wild SpongeBob collection that I got I basically got like a few things for my daughter Amy and I have a couple of notes on it that I kind of wrote for my well for the video but for myself and also for Amy if Amy ever watches this video I kind of wanted her to know like I'm always thinking of you I love you I'm here for you and I miss you and I want to be upbeat and positive but there's also like a little bit of a sadness to this whole thing but I wanted to make this video anyway because not only is it for my channel but it's for myself and the most important thing is it's for my beautiful precious child my firstborn daughter that I absolutely adore and she looks so much like me her mom and it's amazing um so Here's my notes that I wrote. I was half asleep, so there's a lot of typos, but I can read my own typos. So, um, there is a note here on parental alienation because you guys probably, I mean, the newbies out there that don't know me very well, you've got to know this. I, um, my daughter was taken from me when she was five months old. Um, I had just had her. I went through some um, psychosis. It was some horrible things happened to me during my birth experience. We don't need to go over those right now, but um, they did. And so it's been almost 12 years since I've seen my daughter. I've been replaced by another woman who kind of took over. She's like her stepmom, but she says she's her mother. She looks nothing like her. But um, so my ex kind of like took her away. They, that other family, they kicked me out because I was living with them. And so, you know, I, I beat myself up all the time, like, why didn't I take my daughter and leave? Why did I stay with them? What was I thinking? But I was only 17. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that are going through a 17-year-old's mind. They're just not thinking. So, anyway, I'm 28 now, and I have done a lot of thinking. So, I've been alienated for almost 12 years. My daughter is beautiful. I miss her very much. I love her with all of my heart. And I have had three beautiful boys since then. So I have four children all together. In case you guys are wondering, I have four kids. So I'm not having any more, but my kids are all precious to me. And this video is all dedicated to Amy Michelle. So, all right. So the SpongeBob collection is not unavailable, I mean, it's not available anymore from Wet n Wild, like you can't find it in stores. Walmart had it and it was very brief. So like, I was like, ooh, I should pick that up. I wanna get her the entire collection, right? I wanted to get the PR box. I wanted to just get it and send it to her. Like I've had to send her presents over the years um, because they ignore any correspondence that I try. They ignore letters, they ignore messages, they block me on Facebook, they've sent me protective orders. They are jerks. They don't 
accept Christmas presents. A lot of times they've thrown gifts away, they've resold things, they've just done a lot of really hateful stuff over the years, so I'm used to everything. Um, so anyways, the collection has been, like, available for such a short time. I think, like, over about a four-month period, it's just completely disappeared. So it was out of stock at Walmart. I've looked on walmart.com. I've just looked everywhere. So I finally found a few things on Poshmark, and they are so overpriced. Everything is so overpriced on Poshmark. I tried to find the best deals that I could, and I still paid about $65 for all of this. I S H I T I should you not I paid about $65 for the all the stuff that I got and I did not get the whole collection because there was no way that with the money the very little minimum amount that I have like I'll be honest with you the only money that I'm making right now is my youngest son's child tax credit and that's it so that's about $300 a month I do not have any other income whatsoever right now and so I spent $65 of that trying to find this stuff for my daughter so I could send it to her in time for her birthday. So I tried to get the best deals I could. I still paid a bit more than prices were originally because I just wanted her to have it because I love her. And I wanted her to have something that she would love, right? So, um, and of course that, the money that I paid includes shipping. But, and shipping on Poshmark is unreal. It's unreal, guys, just so you know. Like, and by the way, I, I have trouble selling on Poshmark. Like, they won't let me sell, so I don't recommend Poshmark any longer. Unless you're really looking for a specialty item that you can't find and you're willing to pay way too much for it. Like, I just don't recommend it at all anymore. But this is a Poshmark haul. So, alright. So, I wasn't able to get her the whole collection, and I'm really hoping that they don't throw it away when I, I guess, Brian is going to drop it off on the porch like we did with the, the last time I sent her presents was for Easter. I got her an Easter basket and everything. I'm not sure what they did with it. It was a whole lot of Hello Kitty stuff that I've been saving for the 10 years. I had stuff from before she was born, like when I was pregnant with her that I'd saved when I was 17, and it was collector's items, like stuff you could really make a lot of money for. So I'm hoping that they save it for her for when she's older but knowing them they might have tossed it in the trash so I'm really just like hoping that she gets this stuff this time because I paid so much money for it so the, you know what I mean like as I love my kid and I really just hope she gets it I worked really hard to get her the things that she likes so I'm going to remove this message this little note for myself that is my script and Let's get into this. I have a few more. I have a few things that I've been saving forever because when you have an alienated kid, you have so much going through your head and you're like, do I send this? Do I send this? Is this wrong? I don't even know anything about them. Will they like it? But then I have a stepdaughter and I don't even know what she likes. And I just gave her a few things and she loved them. And she was like, just happy to get a present. So I'm like, you know what? Amy's probably just, if she gets it, she'd probably be just like, Oh boy, a present, you know? So I've been saving this for a few years. And you probably saw this in one video, but this is an Easter bonnet. Um, I just love it, it's so cute. <laughs> I didn't send it in a box that I was gonna send a few years ago because it just wouldn't fit. So I just saved it and I just had it hanging in my door. So I'll put a tag on it. I covered up the price tag with a sticker. So this is for Amy and I'm going to give it to her. We'll probably have to drop off presents on the porch or something. If, you know, if I did it, they would send the cops after me because they're mean. But, um, maybe if Brian does it like we did with Easter presents, then maybe it'll be smoother for him. But, usually, most of the time, I just send it in the mail. So, here's a little bag of her because I know she would like flowers. And I was thinking this would all match the hats. Isn't that cute? It's a little timber. All right, so before I show you the wet and wild stuff, I have a few more things to show you. So here's the unicorn that I had before. I still haven't sent that yet. And then of course we have the makeup bag that I had before. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but I just kind of put everything back in there. So she likes My Little Pony, but she likes the black one with the teal mane and tail. I can't remember the name of it, but she loves teal and black. And so there's one My Little Pony, and there's a teal, it's like a reversible sequin mermaid bracelet. I would love to keep that, 
for myself because I love it, but I never wear it. So it's one of my bracelets and I thought I'd give it to her. And there's a that highlighter that I showed you guys. It's, um, I can't remember what it is. Nom Noms? Okay, it's a Nom Noms. And it's like grape and watermelon scented. It's heart shaped. And then it's a magic tile towel that's my little pony. There's some butterscotch candies. There's a Rihanna perfume. There's a watermelon lip gloss. Claire also got one. There's a hot pink makeup sponge. There's another hot pink makeup sponge in there. There's a TY Koala from Dallas. And Seamus and Alex. Her brothers and there's some perfume samples in the back there's another yellow makeup sponge it's just some kid friendly like makeup related items because she's probably not like using any makeup right now but I just thought Ooh, don't drop it Sarah geez she's just uh, hopefully we'll like it so here's her unicorn plushie very cute and I'll put the hat over here and so there isn't like a whole, whole lot of SpongeBob stuff. And I am pretty happy with what I did find. If I can get my life together over here, that would be great. All right, so I have a couple of more of gift bags. I thought about saving this one for my stepdaughter because it's so sparkly, but I could also save it for Amy for more makeups. Or if I have too much that'll fit in that one sunflower bag. And then I have this one, which is so cute. I have a black cat named Morticia. And then we recently lost our tuxedo with the marshmallow. Well, he has a paint had a paintbrush on his tail, technically, because he was a little marshmallow tail. His name was Xavier Crayola. And we recently lost him. He had a basically he had a heart attack. And um, he had a heart murmur all his life, and then he recently died of a heart attack. It was awful losing him. Uh, we saved his life one time and um, it was really expensive and we weren't able to do it the second time but I really miss him a lot so all we have left is basically Morticia Bastet and then we have a gray cat named Valentine Blossom or Brian calls her Abigail <laughs> like Abigail Williams the witch hunter remember you guys like if you ever heard it yeah, I'm going off on a tangent right now aren't I talking about my stupid cats but anyway Amy likes cats and all of my kids like cats so I thought that this would be cute. So, wet and wild, let's get there. All right, so I bought this from Walmart, actually. It's way smaller than I thought it would be. And it turns out they actually sent the right color because I wanted to get the um, pink one and I thought they were gonna send me the yellow one. And this might, she might be able to fit all of her makeup in it. Just a little makeup bag. Um, personally, like, let me just show you one of these sponges really quickly. The sponges are pretty small. Like, here's my blush. Compared to my blush, the makeup bag is pretty small, really. Um, I don't have a ruler or anything, but makeup brush, unicorn makeup brush. Standard size SL Miss Glam makeup brush. That's about how long it is, smaller than that. But she should like it. It's all Nickelodeon themed. I love that. I'm not gonna open that right now, obviously. So we got a Squidward makeup sponge by Wet n Wild, and he's got a grumpy face. He's actually my favorite SpongeBob character, for those of you who are curious, which one is my favorite. You can see the back of him is kind of flat, so you can like, you know, squish your makeup on. Just squish it on, squish it into your face. And then you have the back of the box bottom of the box, the top of the box. You also have Patrick, who's in there kind of sideways. He's smiling at you though, because he has his own show, which is just all over the place. I'm not really personally interested in SpongeBob anymore. It's also kind of adult themed, always has been. I didn't watch it till like fifth grade, sixth grade, and then by seventh grade, I wasn't interested anymore. But it was like really popular when I was a kid. I was obsessed. <laughs> I was. I loved SpongeBob. When I graduated from from um, fifth grade, my mom got me this Happy Graduation book, <laughs> and I still have the book. <laughs> I would love to send that to Amy too. So here is SpongeBob. Probably everybody's personal favorite. He's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I don't know why I thought a makeup sponge would be much bigger than this. I really don't. <laughs> so, 
actually, the fun thing is, I got two of these. So I got two different lots. So I got a lot of these three guys, and then I actually got a second lot, and then the second lot was this guy, and then two other things for her. I wanted to get her at least the lot of three Patrick, Squidward, and Spongebob sponges, and then I got her an extra Spongebob sponge, but she also has a little sponge holder, which sadly, you know, I was thinking it would hold all three of them, but it's a lot smaller than I had thought it would be. So it only holds one sponge at a time, maybe two if you're like really squishing them in there. But you can see like it technically only holds one. And it's made of silicone. It's not made of sponge or anything like that. It's made of silicone. It's really kind of pointless. It's just decorative. Um, you can put it on your desk or whatever. Um, it's going to collect lint and things like that because it's made of silicone. That's what silicone does. It's going to collect hair and lint. But it's really cute. If you wanted to use it for another purpose, you could also put like bobby pins in it or a couple of lipsticks. Really short eyeliners or like lip crayons or something. Um, you could put, you know, your favorite perfume in it if that would fit. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like it's really cute. You could hide something in there. You could even put like your stash of like extra quarters or like five bucks in there. You know, I just, I love that. I think this is my favorite thing. You know what I forgot to show you at the beginning of my video? <gasps> the sign that I usually show at the beginning of my videos, but I've kind of like taken a break. This is my sign. And this is the third thing that I got in my lot. So these are the two things. So, you know, I always forget like what to say. I actually had like a bit of a negative comment yesterday and they were like, you need to have a script in your videos. And I'm like, you need to stop telling people what to do and stop being negative. But I don't really care. So this is the BFF, best friends forever. And if you shake it, it's all glittery. So it was clear at first, you saw that, but then you shake it and it's all pink. It's like a Best Friends Forever Hydrating Brightening Primer Mist. That's what I meant to say that it was. It says limited edition, shake me, shake me. So this is adorable. I'm not sure if she'll use this, but I think any like young kid in her preteens will like something like this, so. So let me recap really quickly. We got the hat, we got all the presents over here, but we'll recap on the SpongeBob because you've seen that stuff before. So let's recap on the SpongeBob. We got the two of these guys, actually. So we have the SpongeBob and then we have the like Doodle Bob over here on the side being crazy. So we have two SpongeBobs. Come on, you guys know who Doodle Bob is, right? Right. And then we have Squidward, who's pretty mad about SpongeBob's existence. And then we have Patrick. So she's getting all of this for her birthday or maybe sooner, probably her birthday, probably will wait. And hopefully they'll let her have it. And then she's getting a nice little makeup bag to put it all in and also the hydrating primer. So I'm super excited to send it to her, I can't wait. And then all the other stuff like little unicorn brush, I mean plush, the hat, the makeup bag that I kind of put together. I may make her another one that's a little bit like. And then once again, we'll go with the, um, don't forget, Wet n Wild Spongebob Collection. If you have the Spongebob Collection, what do you think of it? Um, have you, like, what do you think, like, age group it fits best? Would you say it's a preteen thing or, like, a teenage thing or maybe just for adults? I don't know. I, you know, when it came, when it came out, I was like, oh gosh, another gimmicky thing. And then I was like, you know what, my kid might like this. So I'm gonna try getting it for her. So I just kind of did my look based on SpongeBob today. The purple is more like bikini bottom themed. <laughs> and also because I got my brand new purple NYX lipstick and I like wanted to use it in a video. So I'm gonna do another video in a minute. I'm a little bit nervous in this one, I have to tell you, because this is kind of like a really sensitive thing for me. Like Amy is so like, I love her and it's close to my heart and it's like, I don't really know what to say, but it's like, you know, I have a kid that I haven't seen in like a decade. She doesn't really know who I am. Who is this crazy lady that talks about me? I don't even know who she is. She's not my mother. You know what I mean? Like you're not my mom. Someone's always my mom, but 
I know that there are tons of Lifetime movies out there where the, um, the real mother is out there. The kid just doesn't know the whole story and the other side doesn't tell them the whole story and they grow up like with only one version which might not even be the truth. You never know what the real truth is anyway, right? And anyway, the, the point is people grow, people change, and people can grow up and make their own choices, so. But all along, I have been there and will continue to be there, and hopefully she'll get it, and um, hopefully she'll love it, and I am thinking of you, Amy, and I love you so much, and I really hope that you like this <laughs> and that you eventually one day will see this video and say wow my mom likes me and she she worked really hard to get me spongebob stuff so i mean i guess the point of this particular video is not to like brag about look at this cool new makeup that i got or whatever it's to say like hey amy i got you some cool new presents and if you don't get them i want you to know that i did get them for you and this is what I got you and like normally I take pictures of stuff and I'll post them on my Facebook page which is called The Empty Nursery Stolen Children and um, I haven't like been as active on there as I used to be so I thought since I'm doing this now and I got her all of this stuff like I'll just make a video on it so awesome so anyway I hope you guys are having a worthy warm hearted wondrous Wednesday and I will see you in the next video. Bye!